What's up my dudes? We are in the F-16 here. Today we are on my PvP server. Um, we're gonna be trying to take the F-16 out. I haven't done this in a pretty long time, um, but I don't think too much has changed. So we're gonna see if we can clean some house with the F-16. Remember we've, uh, we've talked in the past about how good the F-16 is in a BVR environment. I stand by what I've said so far that I think it's the best module in DCS when it comes to BVR. Uh, in the dogfight, it still has much to be desired, uh, but keep in mind the F-16 is still early access, um, still in the early stages of early access, and so there's a lot to be, you know, that we're still waiting for, I guess you could say. Um, anyway, I got this guy locked up here at 35 miles. And it does look like he's headed towards me here. And we actually have a friendly uh, off to my 11 o'clock high. You can see him contrailing. Let me show him to you. Here you go. That guy. And he's a bit ahead of me and he's higher, which means if he's going to shoot at the same bandit, he's going to hit him before I can hit him. So we'll see. He might get this kill instead of me. But basically what we're going to try to do is knock this guy out and then we're gonna go on a flank to the left and see if we can clear out some guys from behind as well. Uh, he's fired his missile. And... 18 miles now. Fox 3 from me. And he's also fired another missile. So this guy's about to have a very bad day whoever this is and keep in mind this is a pvp server so everybody you see there you go splash one everybody you see here is a real person all right so keep that in mind i don't know where that guy went but i think he's above the cloud layer here okay we have a friendly who is down low with another hostile these guys are probably looking for each other in uh the mountain valley area and I'm gonna kill this guy all right and you know in this video you're gonna see I'm just gonna take the f-16 until we get killed I'm not gonna try to come back home we're just gonna see what we can do with it I haven't done this in a very long time I just want to have some fun here today um, you're going to see me in this video kind of stay committed because I want to show you guys the kills. Um, but don't do that if uh, you're doing it yourself. Come off target when your missile goes pitbull. We're diving on this guy. Um, we're 8 miles out now. Mach 1.6. I'm going to come through the cloud layer in Fox 3. He's not going to have any chance to react. 4 miles now. Fox 3. <laughs> and... There you go. He had no chance. <laughs> Poor guy. Alright. And his debris went and hit that building over there. So, into the town. That's not good. Alright, so, murdered that guy. And uh, we got an Angel's 10 bandit here, which I think might just be a residual contact yeah that just faded we'll keep watching that area just in case but I don't think that guy's coming back and you know what that could be more than likely that's somebody trying to sneak through the mountains and he just got off data link there so I'm gonna fly high and I'm gonna continue flying uh, fast yeah, there he is. You see, this guy's flying in the mountains. He's trying to hide in the mountains.
All right, lost that lock again. So we're just going to ignore this guy. I'm going to fly high. I'm going to fly fast and hope that he can't catch me. Because uh, he's going to try to come up behind me as I fly over top. Uh, but that's to be expected. Um, more than likely, it's an aircraft that can't keep up with me anyway. Uh, it's, an if it's maybe a, a Hornet or, you know, I don't know. Something else that can't really keep up. Alright, and we're going to try to go after this other guy. Yeah, we'll get this guy here. This guy looks like he's in a flanking position about 24 miles off the nose here. I believe that's him contrailing. Yes, it is. And so he is not really paying attention. 21 miles from him now, fairly high altitude. We're both in the 30,000 feet range. Got a missile launch on me, Fox 3. Oh, you see, you see the M2? That's a, that's a Mirage that's chasing me. <laughs> that's cute. That's the guy who was hiding in the mountains. So he's chasing me now, trying to hit me with his garbage missiles. No worries, we're just going to ignore it. Uh, continue. He can't touch me. Alright, so this guy's diving to avoid that Fox 3 that I shot at him. Jettison tanks. Okay, so that guy actually dove away. That looks like a Tomcat to me. I can see a Tomcat uh, silhouette. So his diving actually saved his life, but he's not going to dodge this one. That's a six mile AMRAM shot at Mach 1.5. Yeah, that looks like a Tomcat, man. It might be a Hornet, actually. No, that's a Hornet. Splash. Yeah. Sorry, bud. Alright, and it does seem like we have a close bandit here. Angels 12, right off the nose. What's going on here? He's turning into me, too. Oh, there he is. Got him on radar. He's close. Well, I got him at two miles. Fox 3. I don't know where he is. There he is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he was just crossing in front of the nose. That's unlucky, man. Uh, splash another guy. Alright, so... I got one more AMRAM left, so let's just go for this guy. Where'd he go? Alright, no worries. We got another guy off my 3 o'clock here. So we'll go ahead and turn into him. This isn't going to end well for me, I can tell you that right now. Uh, with me having to turn around and the range that that guy's in, I should really be running away. But like I said, we're just here to have some fun, so I'm going to turn into him. I uh, promise you this is going to get me killed, but I'm going to try to kill him as well. And if I can do that, that would be a success. Locked up. I have about 11 miles. Fox 3. There's the bingo warning. And he should have a missile out on me. There it is. Right on cue. Alright boys, it's been fun. We're not going to survive this one, but hopefully we kill him. Alright, this will be the last one for today. We'll just call it one more kill and then I'm gonna hop off. But here we got an Angels 29 bandit off the nose here. Nice juicy Angels 29. And I love seeing guys fly high when I'm in the Viper because that means I'm gonna be able to sling AMRAMs at them from pretty far distance and score a kill. Um, unless he's in a Viper because the blue side does have Vipers as well and he wants to do the same to me. In which case, I gotta do the uh, 30 mile minimum abort range. Uh, but, you know, we'll see. We'll judge it as we go.
Now, one of the things I've noticed with the new cloud layer and the dynamics that have changed is that you can actually contrail a little bit higher up with a little bit more confidence. Uh, it's kind of hard for people to see you from the ground with the cloud layer. Uh, you still shouldn't do it, don't get me wrong, it's not a good idea, but you're a little bit safer than you used to be back in the day. Alright, punching through this cloud layer here, we're going to try to get up to 30,000 feet. You can see we've already hit Mach 1.42, the Viper just being an absolute animal in BVR um, already that fast. And remember that the initial speed is going to contribute to the initial speed of the AMRAM, so we're dramatically increasing the range that the AMRAM can go in the F-16 versus maybe something like a Hornet who isn't gonna, who's going to struggle to get above Mach 1.1 really. Right? So we got this guy at 32 miles now. You see the shoot cue coming up on the HUD. And we got this guy still headed towards me. Fox 3. And he's contrailing also. Got him at 25 miles now. Fox 3 again. Both of those should hit him. But the second one is just the... Uh, you know, the one to be absolutely certain. And we're going to go ahead and start cranking off to the left here. And remember that the objective here is to maintain the gimbal lock. As we do that, we're going to decrease our closure rate. And maintain that lock all the way to the kill. There's the kill. <laughs> he got hit both times. Yeah, both of those missiles hit him. There you have it, guys. The Viper remains king of BVR in DCS. The only thing that comes even remotely close to that is the F-15, and the F-15 doesn't have data links. So, uh, in my opinion, the F-16 is the king. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.